Hello everyone, I am Maria Mostoraki and I'm a research technician at the Institute of Marine Biology, Biotechnology and Aquaculture of HCMR in Greece. Through the Transnational Technician Mobility Program of AquaXL 3.0, I was able to visit the DiSafa facilities in Carmagnola, Italy, and lucky for me it was a very busy week for the personnel and students of the center. The field of my expertise is aquaculture nutrition and alternative feed ingredients. The DiSafa was the best choice because they focus, among others, on the study of alternative protein sources in aquaculture and on the study of insects for livestock use. The people of the facility were really kind to explain to me all the stages of the insect production process. From the substrate preparation, to the introduction of adults for oviposition, the growing process of the larvae, and the preparation of the larvae for the production of insect meals. Lastly, I was lucky enough to witness and even help just a little with a large sampling at the end of an experiment involving Hermetia illucens. Now going back to the initial goal of the visit. Apart from the fish husbandry facility, I also saw the production of a small batch of fish feed, just as we do in my home facility. During the time of my visit, they were running a digestibility trial, and I got to witness the use of a Schubert system. I think that DiSafa is one of the few facilities using this system, with which you can collect fishes throughout the day without the excess water and without the leaching of the nutrients. Lastly, because the DiSafa also studies poultry nutrition, the staff let me take a peek at the chicken coops they hold and how the nutrition experiments with chicken are held out. Overall, this was an incredible experience. Thanks to the professor Laura Gasco and the amazing researchers, technicians and students working at the DiSafa facilities in Carmagnola, I was introduced to the fascinating insect rearing process and the experimental techniques used in freshwater fish. Thank you guys, and thank you AquaXL for the opportunity.